Hello everybody, my name is Jackie Aero, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I transformed the end portal room from this to this. If you're like me, you visit the end quite a lot, whether it's to use an Enderman XP farm or to go raiding for shulkers, and to get there you first have to pass through this room. And after being here enough times, you realise just how badly in need of a makeover this place really is. It's boring, it smells, and I'm being attacked by silverfish. Let's spruce this place up, starting off by getting rid of this thing. I need an open area of about 72 blocks wide and 39 deep centred on the portal, and I decided to clear it all out in survival because I was curious how long it would take me. I didn't exactly do it in the most efficient way, and I even dug out way too much at the top, but with the benefit of a haste to beacon and netherite tools, it still took me about 5 hours. So was that little survival experiment worth it? No. No it was not. That's 5 hours of my life that I'll never get back. But as you can see, it's done now and we have a large open area that we can work in. So let's get building in creative mode this time. The first step is to build a pillar in each corner and I'm using cobblestone, stone bricks, mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks to give it a sort of weathered and aged texture to the structure. Then after filling in the pillars, no I didn't leave them hollow, I built up the basic pattern on the ceiling so that I could get the rest of the positioning correct. The centerpiece in the ceiling is one of my favourite parts of the build, and it's made from a combination of amethyst blocks and crystals, pearlescent frog lights and end rods to create a shining crystalline feature. It even has a hidden spore blossom to add floating particles to the air above the portal. Then the pillars get encased in a combination of cobble deep slate and deep slate bricks to keep with the weathered look, and at the top they start to flare out into arches. Don't worry about the missing blocks, they'll get filled in later. When building arches in Minecraft, it can sometimes be a little difficult to get the curve smooth enough, but with a combo of stairs, full blocks and slabs, I think I just about got the gradual curve of the arches correct. Now onto the walls. I tried to make them look like the inside of a large cavern, and despite not being the best at building organic shapes, I think they turned out okay in the end. Three of them have balconies with purple edging and a pedestal holding an end crystal. Had to be very careful placing those. The fourth balcony is lower because it will have a bridge to the portal later on. Alrighty, so that is all four cave walls done. Now what I need to work on is the central pillar. But first, I would like to get rid of these ugly end portal frame blocks here. Now to do this, there's a little bit of a special trick. So we do a one, a two, and then a one, a two, a three, and get rid of these. And then we place a little mushroom on top there, and we place one, two, three, four, and a block there. This is to stop the mushroom growing too high and missing these portal frames, because what happens is, when you grow this mushroom, it's actually going to overlap this and get rid of them. In theory, hopefully this works on camera. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see now, this side of the end portal frames is missing, so we just need to do that on all four sides, and then build the pillar. And there we go, that's all the end portal frames gone. I'm just going to leave this little platform on top there just to stop me from, I don't know, falling in it all the time. Now, what I'm going to do is build the pillar using world edit. I'm going to do a very simple command here. We're going to stand sort of in the middle. Well, not sort of, actually in the middle, I hope. And then do this. So slash slash sill, as in cylinder. We're going to make it from end stone, if I can spell, and end stone. Br where'd they gone? End stone bricks. Somewhere. End stone bricks. Perfect. I can see. And we're going to make this uh, this thing about seven radius, I think, and eighteen tall. And it's in my face. Um, uh, 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 spectator mode. Beautiful. Excellent, so hopefully that has not obscured the uh, end portal. No. Perfect. And now we can decorate it. So for the central pillar decoration, I'm once again using purple, which is not exactly my favourite block type, but it just makes sense for an end portal build. 
My thinking for a backstory to this whole place is that maybe ancient explorers stumbled across the pillar and end crystals in this huge cavern, so they decided to build the arched pillars around it to protect it from future disasters. The little bridge here connects the end portal with a nether portal for easy access. So with the pillar decorations done and a lovely little bridge going across to where there will eventually be a nether portal, we have a little room behind here for, you know, if you want to just set your spawn or that kind of thing, store a few little bits. Now perhaps it's time we do something about this ugly, horrible floor. I decided to hide the floor using the glass fog technique that I love, starting with black concrete and then gradienting glass blocks from black to grey to purple at the top. Then I added a couple of custom twisted trees growing out of the fog using mangrove roots, logs and leaves. So that is pretty much everything done. Let's talk about this glass fog floor thing. This really only works well with connected textures, otherwise the grid pattern of the glass blocks kind of ruins the effect. So what if you don't have connected textures? Well, you could maybe just use water, especially with shaders, because that looks ultra fancy too, or perhaps just come up with your own floor design, though I would recommend using slabs or other blocks that mobs can't spawn on. Now what if you accidentally fall off the platform or the bridge down to here? Well, you're stuck here. This is your life now. Okay, fine. There is actually a little bit of an opening over this way and through onto a bubble vator that goes up to the room behind the nether portal. I haven't lit the nether portal. How about we do that right now? Lovely. Beautiful. And also let's get rid of these blocks here. Excellent. And that really ties the room all together. So that's it, we've transformed the smelly, boring, stale end portal room to this underground cavern ruins structure thing. If you've enjoyed seeing me do this transformation, please let me know in the comments because I don't really do these kind of videos I haven't done before and I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun doing this sort of build and if you'd like to see more, just let me know. So if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment and if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.